Greetings, and welcome to another version of AllHorseTalk.com. I'm your host, Alita Bunny Hendricks, and today's topic is Taking Your Horses TPR. That's short for Temperature, Pulse, and Respiration. And we know the horse's temperature means his body temperature. His pulse means how many times per minute his heart beats, and respiration means how many breaths per minute he takes. And we need to know those things. We need to know those things why. I'm going to skip down. We need to know what's normal for your horse. We use these numbers as a baseline to gauge his TPR rates when he's either ill or he's in distress due to overwork or accident or injury. We also use them to gauge his stress and recovery rates during a conditioning program, such as interval training or long, slow distances for a particular horse sport. And we want to take these numbers periodically throughout uh, the cool out process so we can see how quickly his body is recovering and how efficient our program has been. But we'll do more on that later on another allhorsetalk.com video. Uh, we want to take this t these TPR numbers and record those numbers for at least three consecutive days, days and find the averages. So we'll add those numbers up and divide them by three to see what his average TPR rates are. We take these numbers at rest which means during the cool portion of the day, that's either in the evening after all the activity at the barn has ceased and it's been, oh, a couple of hours since he's had his dinner, or early, early in the morning, again, when it's the coolest part of the day, and before there's any activity or any inkling that he might be getting his grain because they get pretty excited in the morning time when it's feeding time. That's not the good time to take it. Take it before that. Here's what we need to take the TPR. I have a TPR kit. You can see there's a little... A pouch that I keep everything in, keep it organized. First thing that we definitely need is a watch with a second hand or a stopwatch, either one of those. The next thing we need, obviously, is a thermometer. I have two kinds of thermometers here. The top thermometer is a veterinary thermometer. Uh, along with that thermometer, there is a thong or a string attached to it with a clip. The clip goes clip to the horse's tail so that the thermometer does not get lost either inwardly or outwardly if he decides to um, take a manure break. The second thermometer is a simple digital thermometer. It's, they're easy to find. They're inexpensive. You can find them at any uh, drugstore or a discount store. Uh, they're inexpensive, easy to read. They're much easier to read than the veterinary thermometer. Another note on the veterinary thermometer, the older veterinary thermometers are made with mercury. Uh, if they should break, it is a, uh, an environmental hazard. So be sure that your thermometer is a newer model that's filled with alcohol instead of the mercury. That's not a good scene. Uh, again, another item that we have is a tube of petroleum jelly. This particular petroleum jelly has a vitamin A and D formula. That's not necessary. I just bought it because it came in the tube. The tube is convenient and I like it better than a jar because it's easier to keep the ointment clean inside. Next item in my kit, I have, these are just regular diaper wipes, but in that uh, paper, or excuse me, a Ziploc bag, I have put some alcohol so that it will help um, with sanitizing hands or thermometers, cleaning the thermometer after use. And I can pull a clean one out to sanitize my hands. Along with that, we have a pad and a pen. I need to write down those numbers of, uh, of the, uh, that I've recorded so that I don't forget them. Um, then I can add them up and then divide them by three to create the average that I need. The last item is a stethoscope. It's just an inexpensive stethoscope. Uh, it's not a necessary item uh, for most horses. You can find the, the, the pulse points, and I'll show you where on the video. But I do have one in my kit just in case. Those pulse points that we will use are uh, underneath the branch of the horse's jaw, kind of inside of it. We're looking for an artery. Remember, it's arteries that we feel because it's the arteries that carry the pulse of the blood. Veins carry the blood back to the heart, and it's a stream, gentle stream, and we can't feel that uh, pulsation in a vein. We can also find it inside of the knee, and we can also find a digital pulse on the back of the pasterns, and we will look at those. Uh, what do we do with this information once we get it? We post it on the horse's stall card, so it's there for everyone to see should they need to know what those horses' numbers are. And we will come back in a minute. I will get BJ, my trusty equine partner, and he will help us for the rest of this program.